um, you know, I'm always proud of these guys, but I mean, I just couldn't be prouder of this group. Uh, um, obviously, winning is huge, but the way we won this, um, you know, we just could not get anything to go down. And but boy, our, our kids just dug deep, and it's it's just fun to see, you know, the work that they put into the defensive end and just sticking with it, sticking with it, sticking with it. And you got to find a way to to win games like that. And you know, we made enough plays on defense and just made enough plays to win the game. And, and uh, you know, I mean, a couple of blocks that Nick had late were just un unreal. And I thought Casey came in and gave us great energy in the second half. And, um, you know, I haven't been coaching that long, but but that's as gutty of a win as, as I've been around against a really, really good team. So I'm, I'm really proud of these guys. Really, over the past few years, there haven't been too many huge games in the NAP Center, at least with implications like today's. I guess just what does it mean for this program, the step of this program, to have a game like this and then to win it? Absolutely. I mean, we've gone through a lot, this group, and uh, our seniors and our upperclassmen know what it's like to be on the other end. I've said that uh, for a long time now, but it's huge for us, and I think we've been continuing to make steps as a team moving forward. You know, we, we got over the hump of winning on the road. You know, we won two yearly road games on uh, in conference play, and now we hadn't really won a game where we struggled to shoot. We're a really good shooting team, and, you know, normally if our shots aren't falling, we hadn't known what to do in the past. But to do this, to prove this, that we can do that in front of a, a big crowd in a game that means a lot in, in conference plays, it makes us really happy, and I hope it makes everyone else happy because we're fired up about it. Yeah, same, same with you. It's kind of same question, just being a part of an atmosphere like that, Nick. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's something else, and it's something that, like I said, it's uh, something that uh, you dream of when you become a college athlete in the first place. Uh, just the atmosphere, um, the unity that we showed, um, like Reed said, the defensive intensity when the shots weren't falling, it's something that um, this group hadn't instilled up until this point, well, I mean, up until the season, and um, we look to continue that you know, from moving forward. Reed, how did you guys uh, defend a team that was, I mean, again, clearly yeah, it was a big focus uh, coming into the week for practice. So we knew their uh, bigs were really talented, and we knew that we were going to have to get into them and try and frustrate them. And that's all you can really do as a defense is just work as a team to try and frustrate their best guy. And I think uh, LSA Johnson is probably one of the best players in the league, and he had two points. So that's a credit to CJ and Ori, but it's also credit of our team defense uh, trying to rebound down, trying to help uh, double team. It was, it was game plan, too. Uh, Coach did a really good job of preparing us, and we went out and executed when you get that three in the like midway point in the second half, the nap erupted. Uh, have you had a feeling like that as a bulldog? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely a special place when we can pack this place in. Uh, we just want to thank everyone for coming out today because it was really special and it's really an advantage for us on the court as well. We get the crowd going. It's tough for the opposing team to hear their calls, to hear what their coach wants to do. So, uh, the more people come, the more energy it gives us, and the more uh, advantage it gives us. So, uh, we just want to say thank you. So Nick, on that late block of Johnson, when you're both going up at the rim, meet at the apex, I mean, what do you think? It's pretty much do or die at that point. I mean, are they going to posterize him on a blunt or get posterized? Yeah, um, I mean, I've never been one to shy away from that kind of um, uh, situation. And, you know, like we said, it's a team defense thing. Like, one guy, uh, we know it's not going to be perfect every time, and someone's going to miss a rotation or someone's going to over-rotate. And, I mean, that's... It came down to just me and him, and I needed to make a play, and I uh, ended up doing it. Coach, from Missouri anything State. else for the guys, real quick? All right, thanks, you guys. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Coach of Missouri State yep. here. Uh, I mean, Missouri Church, Johnson, Scurry, some of the best rebounding teams in the nation. I know that had to be a, a factor coming in. You out rebound them. Uh, obviously, Johnson has two points. You dominate the post. What were some pre-game plans, like how did you, it's just frustrating them like they said. But. You, you know, I, I think maybe part of it is we've been undersized all year, you know, and I think our kids are, are buying into what we have to do. I got asked that question this morning and just going to fight. You know, I mean, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to going to fight. We're going to battle. We're going to swarm. Uh, we're going to do everything we can to to try to wait, take away deep catches from those guys in the post and help each other and be as physical as we can. And uh, um, a lot of times there really aren't, you know, that many secrets. It was just our guys just battling and, and, and fighting. And Alize is a great player. You know, it was just one of those nights. And But then we had one of those nights. I came in three for 26 from three. Uh, uh, um, 
knock on wood, I can't imagine that happening to us again. But it was just a hard-fought Valley game. You know, it was going to be a lot was on the line, and we just came up on the right end. So what gave you the urge to go over and grab the mic after the game? I just think that, you know, it's it's just fun. You can you can start to see some of the energy in the community and in the fan base. And I think just I want them to realize how important they are, you know, and this is a great group of kids. I mean, they, they've put in a lot into this program. It hasn't gone their way all the time. And uh, um, it's fun to see them having success. And they're, I mean, they're, they're unbelievable off the court, too. I mean, they, guys, they, they work so hard. They do everything that we ask. Uh, um, um, and so they're just a great group to be around. And so it's just important to us to, to, to thank them for coming out. And hopefully we can continue uh, uh, to grow the fan base here. You guys were able to win today essentially how it you guys lost against Northern Iowa. Uh, you guys didn't get def uh, frustrated on the defensive end because of the offensive. Yeah, I, I think that was huge. You know, we just kept talking about trying to stay pounding going and good gracious. I mean, we had a couple, you know, and several that I thought, well, Reed's got to make that one, right? You know, and but that's the way this game goes sometimes, and and uh, um, you're exactly right. You know, oftentimes when that happens, you know, we get frustrated and we're not able to gut it out, and I think. To win this game is huge, but the way we won it, I think, was huge for our guys, and hopefully it's a confidence boost moving forward. Um, how's Ori look like a right wing? I think he's fine. I, I, I think he's fine. I think it's just a cramp or something. And obviously he went back in a little bit later, and I think, I think he'll, be, uh, he'll be okay. Just a, just a hard-fought game.